Would you please introduce yourself one more time to the people of God and your wonderful testimony today? Yes, I'm Harmony Bob Gambutun. Uh, I'm a 25 year post call standing advocate in uh, Cameroon. Uh, I have been meaning to come to kingship. I've had invitation from the president of partnership over the last six months. And I came to Boya regularly for work. But I never really could put myself together to come here. Last night he called me. So I got up at 2.30 and I worked till 6.30, I had a bath. And he came and picked me. And um, here I've experienced a difference even with other living churches. And this difference arises from the teaching from James 1, 14 to 15. The purity of our desires channeled through Christ are sure to uplift us. But the desires that are impure and are not channeled through Christ will make us always sink. Two days ago, out of frustration, I and my wife, we took our first daughter on the advice of many people in the family because she has had a spiritual attack for many years and I have insisted that I will always take her to church for deliverance. So I've been to too many churches. Not to the churches that practice religious mechanics. Reading the Bible without life in it. But the church, like your church, that explains things in ordinary manner and you don't need a PhD or a first school to understand. So we appreciate our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As I said, we were pushed by people who are expressing sympathy with what we are going through with our daughter to take her to a trade practitioner. We actually went and met the man. And, you know, like the standard scammers, I lost a hundred thousand francs. And uh, when we came back home, some voice kept telling me, Bob, uh, that is not the right way. Then I remembered I had to travel to Boya for a meeting. And we never went back to see the traditional practitioner. So today, when I came here and the man of God preached on James 1, 14 to 15, I'm just less than one and a half years to turning 60, despite the youthful look I have. I have not, I have not had a pregnant interpretation of just two verses of the Bible like I have had today. Can we appreciate the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? So this has cemented my resolve that that child will be well and she will never be taken to any other place but to God's house. is because from a scientific standpoint uh, I was a science student in secondary school so I did a few experiments I have done my own social religious experiment I went to the synagogue twice recently I asked one of my clients if you go to the synagogue get me anointing water. He brought it. 
something that happened two years ago, three years ago, happened again. My younger daughter administered anointing water from Prophet Tibe Joshua in their, a, a bottle of tangi each for them. And when they drank it, my daughter just started manifesting. About a week ago, the recent supply of anointing water, she just came and saw it. I didn't give her. She saw it by my bedside cupboard, took it and sprayed it into her mouth. And from then, she started manifesting. The simple experiment of crazy and fire, when you lit the match where you have put kerosene, fire will come out, isn't it? The anointing water provokes Satan, who is living in my daughter, and then you see the manifestations. So, I am more than convinced, and this has been consolidated by my experience listening to the man of God today.